Hello, my name is Hugo Giao, Mission Director on Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry. Originally released as a DLC add-on for Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Freedom Cry is now available as its own standalone title for digital download exclusively on PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PC. I'm very proud to be showing off this game as well as introducing you to our new assassin, Adewale. Sold into slavery as a young boy, Adewale was forced to endure the hardships and injustice of slavery for years. When his plantation was raided by pirates, Adewale saw an opportunity to escape to freedom. Now, 15 years later, Adewale has become the trained assassin and captains his own brig, the Expecto Crede. We start the demo with Adewale and Paul Prince, a new location exclusive to Freedom Cry. Here, slavery is commonplace, and the inhumane conditions are such that half of all slaves die within a few years. It's cheaper to import new slaves than to improve working conditions enough to increase survival. The slave death rate here is higher than anywhere else in the Western Hemisphere. As an ex-slave, Adewale knows these horrors and decides to work with the locals to liberate as many slaves as possible. Now, let's liberate these slaves incarcerated in the cell. To open the cell, we'll have to take down this overseer to get the key. Like previous Assassin's Creed games, I have multiple ways to reach my target. But in this case, let's go for the more aggressive approach, and it will give me a chance to demonstrate Adewale's iconic weapon, a machete. Adewale is more physical than previous assassins. He's fighting for the freedom of men just like him, and the emotional response results in his brutal combat technique. In the game, you'll have the choice to liberate any slave you see and give them the opportunity to take part in the resistance effort against the slave owners. Once I've located and acquired the key, I have to make my way to the cell. I am in your... Aside from Paul Prince, Adewale travels to plantations where slaves were forced to work 12-hour days growing sugar, coffee, and tobacco. Adewale can raid these plantations to liberate slaves. Similar to liberating the slaves from the cells from Paul Prince, the player has multiple ways to take down his victims. However, there are consequences to your actions. Determined to free these men, women, and children, Adewale works with the Maroon Resistance, helping them make progress towards independence from their French occupiers. Here, torture of slaves was routine. They were whipped, burned, and even buried alive. The goal in the plantations is to kill all the overseers to liberate the workers. You need to kill all the overseers first, because if they detect your presence, they'll see it as a revolt. And since the slave plantation population outnumbers the overseers 10 to 1, the overseers will start killing the slaves to end the revolt as quickly as possible. In situations such as these, when you need to take down as many guards as possible, it's best to use the blunderbuss, Adewale's powerful new weapon. It can easily kill tougher guards, such as this jailer. It can take down multiple enemies with one shot, plus it has a quicker reload. Once all the overseers have been eliminated, the slaves are liberated from the plantation. When slaves are freed, they have the choice to run off to live peaceful lives or choose to join the Maroons and fight. These Maroons are key to help Adewale bring peace to the island. 
This was just a tease of what you'll experience playing Freedom Cry. You can download Freedom Cry today either as a DLC add-on to Assassin's Creed Black Flag, across all consoles, or as a standalone title on PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PC. Yeah,